Hey, faves. It's your fave, Miss Renee, y'all. Oh, my goodness, y'all. How y'all doing? I am good. And I hope you are good. I hope this video finds you in good spirits and in a safe place. And um, I just hope that you guys are... I know it's hard to enjoy this time, but I hope that you are finding some fun stuff to do. Um, spending time with your family and uh, while keeping social distancing, while practicing that, but also projects that need to be done, fun activities in the house, playing board games, reading a good book. There is so much that you can be doing at this time. So I hope that you are being proactive while you are being safe. And I did want to tell you guys how much I miss you, okay? This came by surprise for all of us, not just you, all of us. And um, for all of my seniors that are in high school this year right now, I love you. Please stay strong. Please know that um, we are all thinking of you at this time. We are all hoping and praying for the best outcome possible for not just you, but for everybody in our whole world. Because this thing is affecting our entire world, okay? So I just want you to know that. Be patient, be blessed. Try to be as happy as you can be. And try to stay positive because this is a tough time, like I said, for everybody, okay? So thank you for coming back. Thank you for checking me out. Thank you for caring to click uh, on to the Fave Miss Renee channel. Um, want to say, please, I think I've already said it, but if I haven't, please like, share, and subscribe. And for all of my new viewers, thank you for choosing to come and see what Fave Miss Renee is all about. So, uh, it is a video that I've been wanting to, uh, uh, reach out and touch you guys and share some things with you. And, um, just be knowledgeable of the space that we're all in in this season. And that is a time for all of us to elevate elevate our minds and our spirits. And if you are not talking to the Father, Almighty God, you need to start that. You need to start building that relationship. I'm just saying it's never too late, okay? So I don't have a planned topic today. I just really wanted to get on here and just touch base. Um, it's been a few days and I feel like it was just needed. I've had a few interactions with some of my kids. Some people have been texting me. I've get I've gotten some um, uh, more texts than calls. But it's just kind of like I think kids are like, "Wow, this is really happening right now." And them not you guys not being able to go to school is not okay. Believe it or not, you guys think you hate school, and then when school is gone, you realize how much it is a daily part of your life. And how much you need and how much you want that education. And I am sorry that it is on pause. <coughs> Excuse me. That is not Corona. Um, let me say that now. I have allergies all the time. I have seasonal allergies. I have allergies in the fall. I have allergies in the spring. Me coughing is a regular. I'm just saying. It is not Corona. Okay. All right. So, um, also have to uh, just, this is just a wake up call. Y'all, it's a wake-up call for all of us. We are all experiencing something that we have never experienced before. No one was prepared for this. And in some ways, this is not the history that you would like to be a part of. But this is history. And you can all remember where you were at this time in your life. You will all remember what you were doing and what this felt like when our nation and our world had to stand still. And what does that really mean? To me, it means God is trying to get our attention. You guys know that I'm a woman of faith, so you know that I have been seeking the Lord diligently. And in my life and in my, my relationship with God, I feel like God is saying, hold on a minute, world, children, You've gotten so far away from the things that I had planned for you. We've gotten so far away from his uh, commandments. We've gotten so far away from the vision and plan that he had for us and the purposes that he had for us, all of us individually. And in my mind, I'm not saying that God is, is 
doing something to hurt us, but this has definitely alerted our attention. And when we stop and turn back to the Father and say, okay, Lord, here I am. Not only am I standing in the need of prayer, I am humbling myself before you because I want to be a child of you. I want to be uh, a part of kingdom building. So we just need to pause and take some moments to reflect and figure out what is mine? Uh, how do I fit into this equation? What am I supposed to be doing purposely for the kingdom of God? I truly believe that, guys. I truly believe that. Honestly, honestly, from my from my heart, I believe that. Um, for me and my family, we are practicing social distancing. We are we are in small groups, and we are purposely um, complying with what our government and our government officials are saying for us to do. It is wise to do that. Okay. Um, there are consequences that could happen that would not be always good if we did not comply. And I know that this is hard because you're kids. And this is almost spring break week. And people are like, but wait a minute. This is going to mess up my spring break week. Oh, my God. I want to go have fun. I'm still going to Florida. I'm still doing this. But wait a minute. Going to Florida and finding out that the beaches are shut down would be very disappointing. And I've heard a few rumors, guys, uh, over social media and on the news that they may stop uh, commercial airline traveling for now. They may pause that because some people are not, you know, obeying and abiding by the social distancing policies that have been in place. And that is just so we don't continue to spread the virus. It's not to hurt you or to dis uh, any way to um, inconvenience you. This is to possibly stop the virus from spreading rapidly. Okay? So that's what that's all about. So just be mindful of that. We are all in this together. And if we we live in that mindset that we're all in this together, it will hopefully not last as long as it could, and we'll get back to our regular lives. That's what I'm I'm hoping for all of us. I want us to all get back to our regular lives. Okay, that would be so amazing. All right. Um. What have what have what am I doing now? Right now, I do have company in the room. Y'all might be able to hear him fussing just a little bit. I'm going to go get him, okay? Let me see if I can get him. Bring him to me. Yes. I've got my little grandbaby in the room. My son's here with me. My daughter in love is here. Look who I got, y'all. Oh, it's Apollo. Who likes the light? Apollo. Would you come out and see Grandmommy? Apollo, Apollo. I can't wait to see your face. That's the little nursery rhyme that I made up for him when he was still in his mommy's belly. And he's attracted to the ring light. Hmm. But we are indeed practicing social distancing. We are really in and enjoying some good quality family time, being with each other. And I hope that all of you are doing the same thing. And I hope that you are, oh, Tinky. I hope that you guys are kind of getting used to this a little bit. Not that it's going to be around forever. I hope it's not. But... If you get used to it a little bit, oh, tinky, tinky, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, I love him so much. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I think if we get used to this new form of life for a little while, it'll get easier. If you're resistant, then it tends to be harder. But if you kind of come into an acceptance of it and like, okay, this is where we are and this is what we have to do, 
and I'm going to be okay. It's a little easier. Um, no, you shouldn't be doing crazy stuff like uh, going to large parties and just being around each other. It's kind of okay to just back off a little bit. Um, do videos together. Hey, we can still connect. We can still be in each other's lives. Uh, you guys love FaceTime. Hello. FaceTime. FaceTime groups, however. Um, there are ways to still enjoy each other. But the main thing, I think, is to take some personal time for self and for God. And let's figure out how we can begin again in a new frame of mind and be closer to God's plan and his will for our lives. And let's just try to be a good people. Let's be good to each other. Let's be good. Let's be nice people. Let's try to change some of that wickedness that we were talking about a few videos before all of this broke out, okay? Speaking specifically to the girls, there's a lot to learn in this situation. So let's learn. Be open-minded. Let's figure this out, y'all, okay? So um, I hope this has been a little bit helpful. Y'all know I ain't going to be gone for long, right? I promise to have a video again very, very soon. And my son, of course. I mean, I told y'all, it's just, you know, never rehearsed. Um, but anyway, I will be back very, very soon. In the meantime, start praying. And always keep your head up and your eyes open. Love y'all.